Hey guys, this is Viewmasters Reactions, and this is going to be the start of a new show, The 100. But last year, before I started doing reaction videos, I marathoned all five seasons. I, I want to say up to the finale of last season, I literally marathoned everything, and I watched the finale of last season live. So I'm all caught up, but I marathoned it all because a lot of my friends were very into it. My sister watches it, and I was like, there's a lot of seasons to catch up on. Binge watched it. Shortly thereafter, a couple months later, started doing reaction videos. It airs on Tuesdays. I work Mondays and Tuesday nights. Cannot do them because I work 16-hour shifts Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday, I'm doing The Wire and catching back up. So these episodes are going to come out the day of the newer episode because I got to wait a week to catch up. So this is the season premiere of season six. You're seeing it today before episode two of season six airs. I'm going to have them out a week apart. I'm going to see how that does. I'm thinking it won't affect the views. If anything, it might boost the views because people will be like on the hype train for the new episode and they can watch my reactions and get a recap. If it doesn't look like it's working out, maybe I'll switch it up for for now. That's going to stay. True Detective ends in two weeks. So if it's not working out how I'm doing it now, I'll just slide the hundred into the Thursday spot in two weeks once True Detective ends. So we're going to play it all by ear. We're going to see how it goes. Last I saw, now mind you guys, I binge watched five seasons in like a month. So I ran through a lot of it. There's a lot of things I forget. It wasn't like I sat on it like Lost and Game of Thrones where I had years and years and years to theorize and everything like that. I literally haven't even watched the show for a year at this point. Maybe, maybe a year? No, not even. I literally haven't even been watching the show for a year at this point. Binge watched it in a month. Watched the season finale live of last season and then never touched it again. So all I remember was, I remember a lot of the little things. There for sure is going to be a recap, but just to establish what I remember at the very end, extremely emotional situation, Monty and Harper stayed behind. He basically had a video. They showed everybody. They lived their lives. They had a kid and we see their kid now grown up. He's probably like a teenager or maybe in his early 20s. I don't know if they actually specified that. I can't remember, but he wasn't old. They basically sacrificed their lives for the greater good of the people and left their son behind to run stuff. Very emotional. The video was like extremely sad. Monty was always a favorite of mine. Always a favorite. I've been watching the show less than a year, but he was at the top of my list. Monty's no more. So we're just going to jump into this. I'll just start remembering things as we go. Otherwise, I'll be talking for five hours. So here we go, guys. The season six premiere of The Hundred. Here we go. Previously on The Hundred. Everyone listen up. Life as we know it is about to end again. Three, two, That's right. The planet got nuked or something. There we go. Monty found the flight path to the new Earth or whatever. Cryo is the only option. Cryo I'm Jordan, is. Monty, and Harper son. How long were we asleep? 125 years. Hey, Bellamy. Hey, Clark. We wanted him to wake you first so we could talk. Earth isn't coming back. So sad. I'm working on a plan B, though. If you're awake, that means I found it. They so live their lives years. alone, but together. We finally cracked the Allegis 3 mission file. Turns out it wasn't a mining mission. They went looking for another planet. So sad. So emotional. Might have to bear with me on some of the names, guys, till I get back in the swing. It's beautiful. It is in my dreams. Where I they left? Do better there. Right where they left I off. I hope your lives there will be as happy as mine has been. You the good guys. May we meet again. Sad stuff. May we meet again. So that's. I remember Murphy. I can't remember some names. Oh, this is a lot to process. Raven. Take an hour. Meet in the mess. Bellamy. We need to game this out. Guys, we survived. Clark. Monty made sure of it. Clark. I um, get our humanity back. Clark's mother, Monty's son. Some of us never lost it. All right, I'm remembering quite a bit, but a lot of those people I don't remember the names of. Raven. Like three or four. Raven, of them. Slow down. Like I forget him. Okay. No, I'm not. They left us. They chose to be happy. I don't know about you, but spending a lifetime alone with someone you love ain't too bad. Sounds pretty damn good to me. Yeah, in that day and age, yeah. 
No more talking. <laughs> did you know Becca did the coding for the Allegis missions when she was only 18? I met her once. On the bridge of the ship the day we launched. What was she like? She was like you. You're just trying to get me to have sex with you again. See, it's like all in the game. It's all in the hips. What movie is that from, guys? Little, little trivia knowledge. It's all in the hips. Checking on Maddie? Yeah. My dad preserved this for when we woke up. I'm told it doesn't taste very good, but since it's all I've ever eaten. <sighs> he had nothing to compare to. I feel like I'm going to like Monty's son. She's worried about Kane. I'll go talk to her. Kane, I forgot. Uh, stay here. Desmond. Kane is one of my favorite characters from Lost of all time. Hey, Probably my favorite. You know, the people you handed over to our enemy to be tortured. No, for Clark, we call that a Tuesday. <laughs> Easy. She did the right thing in the end. No, I haven't seen. She's like, I don't like your jokes. Hey. Mom, you've got to eat. My dad wanted me to give this to you. The stuff Bellamy used on Octavia. Exactly. The first generation induces coma. He was hoping you could use it to save Kane. Looks like the, the ooze from Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Take a seat. The ooze. Okay, everyone, listen up. Here's what we know. Allegis III was a colonizing mission. According to the file, the mothership went to five planets that met necessary conditions for life, dropping mission teams on each one. Monty picked planet Alpha for us because it's the closest and probably the most like Earth. Yeah, probably. The Atmos you only could have known for sure until they got here. We can scan the atmosphere from the bridge. Actually, we can't. None of the equipment we use to monitor Earth is working. I'm guessing it's interference from the ionosphere. Bottom line is, we won't know if it's survivable until we get down there. Sounds familiar. What about radio signals? Anything from the ground that says the mission team survived? No radio signals. Likely also the ionosphere. There is an ultra-high frequency ping on radar. Faint, but... Rescue beacon. We used them on the Legis for it. Great. If there's a beacon, that means someone's down there, right? Well, not necessarily. They're solar, so... They can last forever. How long ago did Allegis 3 get here? Hard to tell since they never radioed back, but best estimate, 200 years, give or take. It's a long time to wait for a rescue. <laughs> In that case, Clark should stay here. Raven, you're the one that's staying. What? <laughs> like hell I am. Look, we can't take both our pilots. And since we'll be flying blind until we're below the ionosphere, it has to be Shaw. That's not all. Jordan, you're staying too. Me? What? I know it's hard, but your parents asked us to keep you safe. My sister is the last person I trust not to shoot first. She stays on ice with everyone else until we know what we're dealing with. And if it's too late by then? Fine. I'll wake up Miller. Good. Say your goodbyes. Head to the transport ship. That was quick. I call shotgun. I'm willing to bet Monty's son is not trained in physical combat unless he was. Thanks for taking me. I remember him. I part of you. Not really. You go back. Even after I threw you in the pit? <laughs> My sister did that. Not you. We're good. Okay. All right, let's load up. Right behind you. Raven and that dude, I can't remember his name. Him. They're being way too zoomed in on their relationship. It's leading me to believe he's going to die okay? really soon. God, I hate sending you to the ground. Now I know how it feels. Look, Mom, if anything happens to me, it won't. If it does, I'll take care of Maddie. Go save Kane. Go save us all. Go save us all. Raven's relationships reminded me of Masande and Grey Worm from Game of Thrones. No spoilers, but if you watched episode four, you know what I'm talking about. Come again? We lost comms. Oh, Damn great. It. We'll see about that. Move over. Immediately okay, lost signal. Find us a spot with less interference. Can you make that happen? Yes, ma'am. I'm on it. Wait. 
What is that? It looks man-made, though, or something. Auroras form at magnetic poles. Does that look like a pole to you? Stop smiling and put us over that instead. I want to know what it is. Mind you, he's never had physical contact from a woman. We're below the ionosphere and I still don't have any instruments. It must be something else. Hang on. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. Great. Boys and girls? Mountains. Me planet Alpha. I mean, it's got oxygen, mountains, grass, water. It looks like an Earth-like planet. Yeah. Please be breathable. Please be breathable. Please be breathable. Looks like they're breathing. Breathable air. Check. Radiation level's good, too. Allegis 3 didn't need to send Nightbloods after all. How about that beacon, Shaw? Eight clicks due east. So let's do better. That's easy to say, but talk's cheap. <laughs> hey, look. I'm coming around. This reminds me of the way the show started, where they landed. Thank you, Monty. Thank you, Monty. Tell me. You were with Bellamy when he used it on Blood Reno. Never mind. We need blood for the surgery, lots of it. Universal donors only. That means Sky Crew. How many Sky Crew left? How much do we need? Wake them all. Everyone but Octavia. Pint each. Copy that. I'll start with Raven. No. I'll handle Raven. Guys, why am I forgetting what happened to Kane? Why is Kane like that? I remember. Was it because he was underground? For the not an Aurora was he buried it's underground and like almost suffocated or something? Or was that another season? A lot of bundled up stuff in my head right now. Oh, uh, there's another planet. No, it's not a planet. It's a moon. Hey. Raven, check this out. Is that bad? Raven, what are you doing? I told you to take us lower. I am. Hey guys, you just watched The 100. If you want to see the next part to the episode, click up here. You want to see something else I do, like a trailer reaction or another show, click over here. Click over here if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.